Hey guys, brand new proper life video down in the description. Check it out, show us some love. Megan did some cringy things back in the day and recorded them sadly, so now we must make fun of her. Go check it out, show us some love. Well, Liz woke up sick today. I didn't think anything about it until Pop jokingly said, What if she's pregnant? Great. Well, one pregnancy test later and it turns out we may be having another child. Uh guess we should get a doctor's approval on this first. So, it seems you are in fact pregnant, Miss Burt. About six weeks to be exact. Congratulations. Thank you, Doctor. I can see that this is a bit of an unexpected situation for the two of you. Yes, unexpected is a good way to explain how I feel. I'm still very excited to be having another child, but scared, I guess. Well, there's nothing to be scared of. You're in perfectly fit health and all looks well for a pregnancy at your age. My age? Well, yes. Many women worry that pregnancy after 30 can be dangerous, and in some cases it can be. But you're in a very healthy standing. So everything looks alright, you say? But well, what about the baby? Is he or she okay? There's only one, right? We, we aren't having triplets or something crazy like that, are we? Well, you can't normally tell if twins are in the picture till around the 10-week period. Oh, well, great. So I gotta wait a month till I know that verdict. Isn't that swell, honey? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Burt. I'm afraid so. Oh, and uh, speaking of month, I will need you both to set up an appointment for next month. And we'll go month to month till we feel we should move our appointments closer together. Well, can do, Doctor. Yeah, you know best, so thanks. Thanks again. Don't mention it. If either of you have anything at all, you have my emergency number. We appreciate it very much. Thank you again for your help. It's no problem at all. You two have a good day. Same to you. Goodbye now. Yeah. Bye, Doc. Come on, honey. Let's go. So, how are you feeling? You okay about all this? Well, it sure isn't expected, but I guess it happens. How are you doing? You bumped your head pretty hard on the ground when you passed out at the school. Yeah, I'm fine. I do tend to pass out a lot, which makes me feel like less of a man, but... I do. I really hate when I do that crap. It doesn't make you any less of a man, honey, I promise. I know this is stressful for you, as it is me too. You tend to pass out, and I just eat a lot. <laughs> well, thanks, babe. I appreciate you, you know, worrying about me in a time like this when... I'm just really worried about you. And I do. I really appreciate that. I just... I don't know. I worry about our financial situation. After the first two, I kind of realized that, you know, having a baby, or babies if we have twins, God forbid, is pretty expensive. It's, it's very expensive to have a kid. They are that, so what do we do? Do we have any sort of plan for this? Well, no. No, not really. But all we really can do is try to stay calm and take care of this, you know, one day at a time. I mean, that's really all we can do. Just do our best. We've had two kids. I think we'll be able to handle ourselves. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, the kids! What do we tell them, Josh? Well, you're right. I guess for the kids, we, we tell them. I mean, what else can we do? We tell them. I mean, we don't have to tell them just yet, you know? Just in case, you know, something happens. The beginning two months of a pregnancy are supposed to be, like, really scary and things can go bad. So, let's just wait, you know, to say anything until, like, the third month of the pregnancy. Just so we know everything's safe and sound. I mean, maybe even a little earlier. It's up to you. I mean, well, what do you think? I guess that's fine. Let's go home now. I'm exhausted with the amounts of emotions I felt today. Oh, I'm right there with you. We can take a nap together. How does that sound? That sounds wonderful, honey. Will you cuddle with me? Well, absolutely. Now, let's go ahead and get home and get started on those cuddles. You look like you deserve them. And I sort of need them myself, but don't worry. I'll be the big spoon, you can be the little spoon, and we'll cuddle and cry ourselves to sleep at the thought of having to spend so much money on a brand new baby. <laughs> Come on. 
Let's get home. Jeez, I'm not really sure what we can do to make this whole situation work. Poor thing's been napping basically since we got back from the hospital and it's been a while. It's about to be dark outside. Ah, oh boy, poor thing. She's really taking this emotionally and it's making her have to sleep a lot. And that normally means she's pretty, pretty emotionally unbalanced because... It's, it's first it's eating and then it's sleeping a lot and she's sleeping a lot. So this is really taking a toll on her. Oh, what can I do to make this easier for her? I mean, we could take a loan. If we take a loan, then we wouldn't really have to worry about it for a little bit. Just pay, you know, month to month. This is going to be, this is going to be very expensive. I mean, kids are expensive. We barely made it through with Lindsay. And now we're about to have another kid, a boy or a girl. Or as the doctor said in a month time, I may be having twins. Who knows? Oh, God. I mean, we have a decent amount of money set aside. But most of that money is set aside for things like college for the kids. And, you know, mom and dad, you know, her dad's, if they need to go away, you know, like to a retirement home or something, if something bad happens. Uh, I guess we can kind of dabble in, you know, the kids' graduation money. I mean, they're not going to be going to college for another six and eight years. Yeah, six and eight years. That's not too far away. So if I do do this, we're going to have to, you know, start putting money aside quickly after, you know, this new kid comes around. I guess we take it out of Lindsay's account because that gives us eight years. Oy, I bet she's going to enjoy that when she hears about that. Oh, yeah, your brother or whatever sister, you know, needed uh, stuff to uh, be able to live. So we took money from your college, you know, funds. Uh, I mean, we've always figured it out. Me and Liz have always been able to get things done and figure it out. I mean, heck, we had Edward when we had next to no money. Mom and dad helped, but they helped where they could. They didn't have much money. We barely made that work. And gosh darn it, we're going to make it work this time. Me and Liz can do anything, anything, if we put our minds to it. I mean, I guess it may sound cheesy, but well, gosh darn it, love triumphs. <sighs> I'm stressed out myself. I guess I should go take a shower. I still smell like the diner and a little bit of the doctor office. Ugh. I hate the smell of a doctor's office. All right, let's just take a shower and, I don't know, try to cool off and relax and just calm down. Okay. Okay. That was a really good dinner, Liz. Even in a stressful time as this is, you went above and beyond and you, you cooked. I really appreciate that. Well, I appreciate you offering to get pickup, but I need to do something to take my mind off all this. I understand. Well, how are you now, seeing that you don't really have much to take your mind off of it? Are you okay? I'm alright. I just find it crazy we're gonna be having another kid. Yeah. Yeah. Never thought we'd ever have more than just the two. I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess Destiny had other plans for us, you know? Guess so. So, what are we gonna do for the room? Baby is gonna need its own room eventually. Yeah, I, I thought of that when you were taking uh, your nap, and I even thought about it as I was walking over to the school today. Still not sure if you were pregnant. I guess our best bets are either move, which would really stink because of the house's location. I honestly think where we live is one of the best locations in the entire city. Or we add on to the house, which could be a pain in itself. I guess we'll just have to do research and then weigh our options. Yeah. We'll have to figure this out, which is going to, you know, figure out which one's going to be better for us. I'll look into prices on both situations when we go inside. That should be a real joy, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, don't worry. Everything will be fine. I promise. I really appreciate that, Liz. And I appreciate you being so strong in a time like this. I love you so much. I know that... You have so much weight on your shoulders, soon to be in your belly, and you're still looking out for me. 
You're really incredible, you know that? I love you. I love you too. Now, let's go ahead and get inside. I need to start looking up prices. We've only got a few more months before this baby's delivered. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and head inside. Follow me. Oh, boy. Life is going to be interesting, that's for sure. <laughs>